There are violent and disturbing images in this game. Or as disturbing as a game from 1998 can be. Wellity, wellity, welcome folks. Welcome back to another Let's Play being done by yours truly, Grandma Scott A. And we're here before Konami started sucking. Woo! And we are doing a game which we should have done a long time ago. In fact, I tried to do it a long time ago, but, well, that's another story entirely. The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. Yes, folks, we are playing the one, the only, the game that challenged Resident Evil's dominance of the PS1 in the horror world. It is the original Silent Hill. And I gotta love this FMV. I always liked in the intro to this game, a lot of the FMV that they're showing, like for games of this, like, of this time, all the FMV that was shown in the beginning would be FMV that was shown throughout the game. But quite a few of these scenes that you're seeing aren't ever seen outside of this intro. Like, not just, you know, set up and things, but uh, let will see if I can point one out. Nah, that was definitely in that, I remember. And so is that one. <laughs> Certainly not helping my case here. Okay, all of these are definitely it, because these are character introductions. And this is all stuff just for the intro. Like, there's no intro after this, there's only, you know, intro cinematic and everything. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. We are playing the original Silent Hill. Released by Konami, this was their answer to Resident Evil. And there's always been a kind of a weird dichotomy going on between the two of them, where Resident Evil was very much based on American horror. You know, big scares, loads of monsters, blood and gore, explosions. Oh, there's a scene that's not in the game. Um, but Silent Hill was more... How to put this? If Resident Evil is more Dawn of the Dead, Brain Dead... Um, I don't know, like American horror films of, of that kind of ilk. Silent Hill is definitely more geared towards the ring and the grudge. A lot more psychological, a lot more does a lot of things to mess with your head. And trust me, this game, I was a lot younger when I first played this, and even on a, you know, with PS1 graphics, this game definitely spooked me a lot more than Resident Evil did. I mean, Resident Evil can pull off jump scares, but this game is one that can, you know, really get to you. And so, we see our main character, Harry Mason, driving with his daughter, Cheryl, right into the worst day of their lives. Silent Hill! Let's just check our options. Yeah, that looks all good. And if we press all the shoulder buttons, we get the special options. So, weapon, we can have it so that we either hold down the button or just have, like, weapon mode. We'll keep the press for now. Blood colour, have that normal, but we can have it green or violent or black. Violent colour. Uh, view control, we'll keep that as how it is. Retreat turn, keep that how it is. Walk and run, we'll be it. We'll be doing it so that we walk normally and run on the button, and we're gonna have auto aim on. We're going to exit, we're gonna hit start, and we're going to play on normal. Not sure why those sound effects were glitching out there for me, but hopefully nothing bad will come of it. And so we awaken straight after the FMV, with our car crashed, Harry having one heck of a headache, and our daughter is missing. It's also pretty timely that I'm actually recording this game at this point, because outside my window is a massive ruddy blizzard. Seriously, like you can't tell the difference between pavement and road out there. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. All the clubs have been closed down. Cheryl. There's too much fighting on the dance floor. Anyway, look at this. We have analog control. Not just tank controls. And the camera follows us from behind. Footsteps. Who could they be? More FMV! Woo! Could that be Cheryl? I wonder why she'd run off. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? And yet we got classic PS1 voice acting here, folks. Revel in it. 
Why is it running off? Where are you going? Come back here. Hey, wait! Stop! Disobedient children never listen to what their dads want to do. Anyway, we're running after. I don't have to worry about stamina or anything. Harry. Apparently, Harry was like a. This is my head cannon going on. He must have been some kind of like a long distance marathon runner because he is able to run without, you know, stopping. Most you'll most you'll do is catch his breath when you, what you call it, when you actually stop running. Getting a bit of crackly audio there and a bit of lag. Woo! All favorite things. Anyway, she's running to here. Beware of dog. Whoa. Looks like dog bewares of you. What the? What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Anyway, is there an air raid siren in the 1940s now? Here's the famous camera angle that everyone remembers. It's still a pretty cool trick. Anyway, yeah, things are definitely getting darker around here. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. Well, if we've got a match, I guess. A very bright match. What's this? Why is there a wheelchair? A broken wheelchair? What's this doing here? I thought exactly, Harry. Anyway, let's keep on going in the hospital gurney. There's one way to get rid of, you know, outpatients, I guess. Uh, I don't. I'm assuming this is paint on the floor. A lot of uh, metal grates around here. There's some cuts of beef on the ground, I think. And oh, what is this? that's not a happy-looking fellow. On here? I have no idea what's going on, but there's children coming after us. Run! No, no, get off me. You will not get me with your weird knifey things. Anyway, let's get back out of here, get in the car and drive away. Cheryl can save herself. Not by a fence. This wasn't here before. Now, Harry, climb. Use climb. Damn it, didn't teach him with the HMs. Oh god, the children are getting us. Get off, get off. Apparently... Don't they know that my knees are my one weakness? And we're dead. Oh, that was a short let's play. Ah, fear not, folks. We're not dead yet. And hello. You look familiar. Where'd you go? Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, you somehow teleported over there. Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. And stabbed repeatedly I'm in the all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Lots of weird Wait things. Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. And I'm having the time of my life, I don't honestly. know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Yeah, Harry has a weird thing of weird pauses in between his sentences. Have you seen a little girl? Get used to that question. Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Could have opened with that, might have made things seem a little bit more so urgent. Otherwise, then you're just the looking for I've random girls. This town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. No, you wouldn't. I see your deceit. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. Yeah, like Resident Evil, they spelled bizarre right this time. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Totally didn't make that name up on the spot. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Look at all this world building going on here, folks. 
phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Harumph. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? I just needed My to daughter. go to the can. I've got to find her. No way. Jose. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. No, oh, apparently she has missed teleporting powers, so she might be doing fine. Have you got a gun? What is this, America? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now here's my question. Either A, she's disarming herself, which is a very now stupid thing to, to do, or B, she somehow you is carrying around two handguns. Know who you're shooting. I know American cops are very gun happy, but still. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. No promises. Got it? Boom. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Well, that was Sybil, everybody. Very good character, I think we, we can all agree. Anyway, got some items. We have a health drink, these are your green herbs. We have a flashlight, this is your flashlight. And, most importantly, a map. And trust me, Silent Hill has one of the best maps in all of gaming. Because, well, for one thing, not only do you get to see everything on the map, but as you go around, your character will make notes. And also, because I'm not going for any speedruns on this particular game, save states ahoy! Anyway, we've got another health drink. And the kitchen knife. We will not be using the kitchen knife. It is a useless weapon. Anyway, we've got a handgun. Go. We handgun received from Sybil. Holds up to 15 rounds. And that it does. And so we can decide for blah. I'm gonna go over the controls here. So L and R, L, L1 and R1, let you to do your side steps, both together, nice 360 turn, 360 turn, 180 turn. R2 go, lets you go into weapon mode, and unlike Resident Evil, you can move and do weapon mode at the same time. And, what do we call it, when we're aiming, X is our fire button. A radio, is it broken? Can't hear anything. Anyway, let's get out of here, we got everything we need. Uh, that noise be. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Does anyone in a survival horror game have a working radio? First the stars team, now this. What was that? Oh! There's a weird bat creature. Okay, just hammer the X button to fire, and ooh, it's down, and... This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? This place is no longer safe. Let's take that radio. This is basically your radar. If there are enemies nearby, you will hear radio static. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. So, as you can see... We can zoom in on the map, and we can mark where we're going. To Finney Street. Alright, and we are at the cafe. First thing we're going to do, run down here. Why? Because there's some random handgun bullets. This is very much, you know, gameplay and story segregation as to why on earth would there be handgun bullets just lying around out in the open like this. Okay, double check our map. And we're going the wrong way. First thing we want to do is we want to run to the top of the map to that convenience store that was on that map. Yeah, the outside can be a little bit laggy because of the snow. Like, it does like to mess things up, but once we get indoors, we should be grand. I always like the procedural, the procedural generation excuse for this game. It's like, you know, there's a massive fog that's come over the city. And because of that, that's why you can't see more than two foot in front of you. Anyway, you can hear the radio static, that means there's an enemy nearby. But we're not going to worry about that, because 
We're going to run right into this convenience store. If you're going for a UFO run, this is where you can pick up the channeling stone after completing a first game through. For context, I'm going to be getting the best ending in the game, and I'll also tell you about the other endings when we get to that, to that time. Anyway, it's a good place to pick up some health drinks. And also, if I do end up getting stuck, I do have a little backup available. I have a guide. And to prove that I'm not cheating, I actually do have a... Well, I guess this can be classed as cheating. But to make sure I'm not just stealing somebody's game FAQ, I am actually using the... Uh, well, the unofficial, I guess you should say, Silent Hill Complete Guide. Made by PlayStation World Magazine, that I still have all these years later. I just missed the days where you could get an actual book to read through and thumb through to make notes on your games. Ah, the good old days. Anyway, I want to avoid the bat person. And we want to run in this direction, down to Finney Street. A lot of combat you can avoid when you're out here in the open, at least in the early parts of the game. When you start getting the later game enemies, that's when you start getting problems. Anyway, we want to go back down this alleyway. If you can hear multiple statics, that means there's more than one enemy going. So just be careful where you run. There's a dog. Another, another common enemy in this game. I don't... there's pretty much every single enemy in this game doesn't really have skin. I don't really know the point of skinning everything, but... Yeah, I'm not going to question the game designers. They are very crazy people. Anyway, we want to head back down through here. Hopefully we will not be attacked by the strange night children again. But ooh, handgun. And now we have... how many bullets? 60 bullets. Make that 55 bullets. And a full clip. And what's this on the floor? to school. Isn't this Cheryl's sketchbook? I don't know, you tell me. You're a dad. Hmm. She's at the school. Bit of a jump in logic, but we'll go with it. So we're heading to the Midwich Elementary School. That's our next target. Alright, alright. But there's also another item here. A pipe! Pretty useful in the early game as like a way to save ammo, got good reach, doesn't have the best damage, but still. It's a sketchbook cover. It's a picture. It's me. Cheryl definitely needs to work on her artistic skills. That's the first picture that Cheryl drew in her sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. Your daughter has a fifth birthday and you just get her a sketchbook? You cheapskate, Harry. Anyway, I think this should do it for the first part. I'm very excited to be doing this game again, and I promise this time I'm going to make it all the way through it. So. I have been Grandmaster Scott A, this has been Silent Hill, and I thank you so very, very much for watching, and E-O-S.